today Uncle Roger review American chef Jet Tila making pho. I like this guy. Uncle Roger didn't know the boy from up grow up now and become celebrity chef Fuyo. Let's hope he make pho properly and don't make our ancestor cry. This video is sponsored by this plate. They make beautiful handcrafted metal poster. This plate is about collecting your passion and getting inspired. See, Uncle Roger already got a few posters from them. Phew, they look so good. This ramen poster and have great wave. I know this is just metal poster, but it still look better than Jamie Oliver ramen. Hiya. This plate have both branded and artistic design. Passion printed on metal, especially for you by the master of production. And they print in the EU. I expect Expected delivery time only four to five business days, super fast. Mounting this on wall so easy. No need drill. Drill is biggest waste of money. You move house, buy one, use three times, and then it just gather dust in corner. Hiya. This plate just use this easy and safe magnet mounting system. This plate is good alternative to standard paper impression or canvas printing. It also cheaper using discount with my link. You get at least twenty percent off, and the more this plate you buy, the more discount you get. Buying a this plate is. Supporting Uncle Roger channel, and they're planting one tree for every design ordered. So go click link in description and check out some collection Uncle Roger like. Hey guys, I'm Jet Tila, and this is Ready Jet Cook. Now I know some of you are rolling your eyes at the idea of quicker pho, quicker pho. but let's do some quick time calculations here. Two days for traditional pho versus two hours. What? 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 Two day for pho? Pho take eight hour only. How you use two day to make pho? You making fur halfway and then going on road trip? Is it higher? Two days for traditional fur versus two hours. Fur broth need time to extract the flavor from the ingredient. Two hour fur? <sighs> Uncle Roger skeptical. I got bad feeling about this video already. So for the quicker beef fur, I'm using a thin slice steak cut, which is ah thin slice steak. That correct? Already better than Nice Rachel fur. Have you seen that video? If you haven't, go watch it. It's terrible. She used beef that thicker than Lizzo. How to cook? These are the rice stick noodles for pho. Correct. Sure correct noodle. In case you mess up your first batch. Also, when I was a kid, stocking these shelves, they were my favorite things to stock. Not like those fifty-pound rice bags. Wait, you you Asian kid, but you don't like to stock rice bag? Hiya! What kind of fake Asian are you? Asian people, we buy rice, we buy the bigger sack, ten kilo, twenty kilo. But this nephew Jack right here, he buy rice like how white people buy rice, just tiny packet. Hiya, Uncle Roger want to say to white people, who you buy the small packet rice for? For baby bird? Is baby bird on diet? So the last thing we're gonna need for pho is fish sauce. It might fish sauce, correct? If you're not used to using it, but it's such ingredient good so far. Vietnamese and Thai cuisine. Hiya, why suddenly like music video? Is nephew Jack gonna start twerking? Just cook, just cook. Uh, I'm gonna start with vegetables and then move on to making my stock. So I'm gonna need onions, kind of. Onion, correct? I'm gonna take the top, the bottom, and then I like to peel the onion while it's in half. Like. No, no, don't slice onion in half. It's gonna make the broth dirtier. Just throw whole onion in broth. I developed this pho dish because small mistake. Everybody likes to eat pho, but no one wants to make the two-day broth. This is a really nice kind of hybrid version where you get the aromatics from all your spices, but you're not gonna sit there and roast bones and literally wait two days. This. Okay, he taking shortcut, but at least he know the basic offer. Maybe this video okay. You know, when the kids are kind of in from school, they're sick, the weather's really cold. There's nothing more comforting or warming than having a nice bowl of noodles and pho broth. Wait, what? 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 He say? You know, when the kids are kind of in from school, they're sick. There's nothing more comforting than having a nice bowl of noodles and pho broth. Okay, pho broth comforting, correct? But nephew Jack, I hope when your kids sick, you don't just feed them pho. Bring them to doctor. I would hate to be this guy kid. Daddy, I got COVID. And he go shut the fuck up. Just eat your pho. <laughs> These onions, onions are making me cry. I'm starting to think about my kids when they're sick. 
No, no. Nephew Jet, don't cry. Don't cry. What are you crying for? Jamie Oliver trying to make you egg fried rice, is it? This is so sad. As you can see with the ginger, I've just left the skin. Okay, he sliced faster extraction. To get a lot of surface area for the stock. With the scallions, I'm just onion, slicing good. them into thin slices. These are red serranos. They're kind of the perfect chili. Chili really good. A ton of these. And the last ingredient is going to be lime. Uncle Roger like his chopping technique. Very smooth. Very good. I'm just cutting the wedges off the side. Lime correct also. Little seed pot alone. The first spice is star anise. Looks like a little star. Star anise good. Christmas, if you think about it. All what Christmas? Spices. Smells like Christmas if you think about it. Star anise remind you of Christmas. Nephew Jet must be from really nice family. Because Uncle Roger growing up, Christmas just remind me of alcohol and parent arguing. So star anise is there. Close. Correct. Clove, correct. Those look like little kind of reedy sticks with a little spice ball. Cinnamon. I know you've got cinnamon. Good. Laying around from the holidays. In a little plate, I've got some cheesecloth. Mm. Cheesecloth. Cheesecloth. I'm gonna lay all the spices in, and they're really over. Ah, that's Sacho. He know his shit. That good technique. But he just missing fennel, cardamom, and coriander seed. Maybe that okay. He making quick fur. Maybe those things harder to get where he from. Uncle Roger can forgive that because his technique all correct so far. I'm just wrapping it up into a nice clean little packet. Tie this off and be able to pull it in and out of the stock. So let's build the pho broth. First thing we're going to start with is beef what? paste. I know, no. commercial. Be Some of you are going to give me a hard time. No. Some of you are going to give me a hard time, but I need you to trust me. Trust me on this. Okay. At least he anticipate Uncle Roger reaction. Don't just use beef paste like that. Just try to make broth properly. Hiya. Trust me on this. But okay, Uncle Roger trusts you. Nephew Jack a very trustworthy face. Look how innocent he look. Look at his cheek, so cute. Uncle Roger just want to pinch his cheek, so cute. Pinch, 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 pinch. I'll get you to delicious pho. Beef base is exactly as its name implies. It gives you that nice beef flavored foundation. A really quick note on fish sauce. Now, you know the bottle that's been sitting in your fridge for about a year? It's time to get rid of it because it's probably gone opaque. Correct. And totally dark like soy sauce. Really fresh fish sauce should be amber and totally translucent. Wait, wait. What? No, like no, that too much fish sauce. Look at how much he pouring. Really fresh fish sauce. Should That's so much fish sauce. That's the first big mistake he made. So much fish sauce for what? Also, I thought you just measure out fish sauce in the little bowl. That's the correct amount. Why suddenly you just pour it from the whole bottle? Hiya. You're just drinking fish sauce now. The pot's so small. Your broth 50% fish sauce. What you doing? What, what you, you doing? doing? This. A little more salt, because fish sauce is uh, definitely on that seafood side. Salt, correct? Straight salt to give a clean saltiness to kind of boost up that beef flavor. We want to balance those flavors with a little bit of sugar. Sh what? No. Hiya. Uh, sugar, correct. But that too much sugar again. So small pot, so much sugar, so much fish sauce. You eat this, you're gonna smell like the ocean and taste like diabetes. And the aromatics are ginger and onion. I'm gonna let this breath- Wait, wait, what, what? You need to char it first, hiya. Don't just put onion and ginger in like that. Charring onion, bring out more flavor. You even have gas stove. Just put the onion on the fire for two minutes. And that okay? This onion too white, you need onion of color. For fur broth, onion is like Auntie Helen clothing. You need to burn it. I'm gonna let this broth come to a simmer for about 40 minutes and let the onions and garlic make 40 minutes. the broth. Mm. The last step to finish this broth. I guess it's okay, it's shortcut. Spices from this. Spice session. good, Be spice go in good. To not oversteep these. You're gonna wanna simmer the spices for about 30 to 45 minutes until you just taste all these kind of amazing. Uncle Roger still can't believe how young he looked. Nephew Jet look like little boy with receding hairline. How that possible? I just want to taste this before I pull the sachet out. Mm. I distinctly taste all the spices, but they're not overpowering. So it's time for the sachet to go away. So my Good. broth is... Let me show you how to build this bowl. We're starting with some rice stick noodles. Ah, noodle time. Soaked and soft. You can also use correct. fresh rice stick noodles here. I'm going to bundle them into the basket and just give them a really quick dip to cook. Colander for noodle, okay. Just don't use it for rice. So just a few seconds in the hot water. Correct. 
well and then the texture look very good see see how bouncy it look that good texture so noodles are in this mm. entry part my favorite faux combo is fully loaded meaning every single garnish plus a ton of sriracha good. and a good. ton of correct course. correct and if you're gonna do the rare thin beef make sure you to put it on top because it looks really cool there right this is so thin that when that hot broth hits it it's gonna cook it right mm, correct make sure that your broth is ripping hot Ooh. because you want it to cook the meat and then really oh. marry all those flavors together Oh. Favorite dishes oh. of all time right here. Feel free oh. to do a little more garnish. That looks so good. Uncle Roger's so aroused right now. Sorry children, clear your internet history. Feel free to do a little more garnish on the top, a little bean sprouts, and you are good to go. So hoisin and sriracha, it's a total choice situation. Some people like to shoot it in and mix it in. No, don't mix it in, hiya. The broth take eight hours to make. Don't just whack sauce in there, you're gonna kill the broth. Show the broth some respect. And some people like to shoot it in and mix it into the soup, or some people like to dip. I'm more of a dipper than uh, putting the hoisin Whew. in. Okay, okay, dip better. Every time Uncle Roger go to Vietnamese restaurant and I see people just squirting the sauce into broth, it break Uncle Roger heart. That's the only time Uncle Roger don't like seeing squirting. I want to pull some of the noodles and build a little nest of noodles into the middle of the spoon. Add your favorite. Mm, even his eating technique, sure. good. I've got a little onion, I've good. Got some cilantro, all those really fun goodies in there. Then I take the beef and I do a little dipper. Mm. Make sure it's touching both sauces. Hoisin and sriracha. He got the sauce and it's spicy. He got the sauce and it's spicy. Into the spoon, gather some soup. Mm. That actually look very good. Mm. There's really nothing more kind of complex yet comforting than a great- Complex and comforting. That should be Uncle Roger Tinder bio. His fur not bad, not bad, but cannot give him uncle title because it too many shortcut broth not made properly. Maybe next time spend more time on broth and Uncle Roger can call you Uncle Jet. Here we go. Yes. Another Uncle Roger video. I've, I've missed making these, man. It feels like it's been a while. But nephew Jet, I hope when your kid's sick, you bring them to doctor. Don't just feed them fur and let them die. Look at how innocent he look. Uncle Roger just want to pinch those cheeks. So cute. It's so cute. Just want to pinch those cheeks. <laughs> look at him. His receding hairline actually make him look younger. Fuyo, Uncle Roger never see this before. My hairline receding, I look old as shit. For fur broth, onion is like Auntie Helen clothing. You need to burn it. And then Auntie Helen say Auntie Helen, text on the screen, parentheses, ex-wife. You know, in the middle, sound effect. What do you call it? Mouth pop? 